Good evening ladies and gentlemen, how are we getting on? Welcome to a brand new Fallout news video. So short and sweet today, we've got a little surprise update from Bethesda. We have the mid-season update coming and a, a little challenge coming around the corner as well. Should be cool. Okay, yeah, so we have a, a little inside the vault post from Bethesda today. Short and sweet as I say. But uh, we've got the mid-season update and a little challenge update coming as well. So let's have a gander at this. Okay, so there we go. There is our blog post. So we have a little thank you regarding the public test server and a reminder that it will be reopening again in coming weeks for more feedback. That's probably going to include new features, I would assume. They haven't said anything about it, but what we've seen so far feels a tiny bit on the light side, really. Um, it's not that unusual for Bethesda to do sort of multiple test batches for a new update, so uh, new features being added would be consistent with that. But um, yeah, of course the other thing is Starfield is early September, first week of September, so that kind of lines up with the next updates as well, and is likely going to stamp very hard upon the next update, so if it's a bit light, that's probably why. Um, but, you know, these two things will probably interact, so we'll see what happens. But I do suspect we'll be seeing some new stuff there. But that's in coming weeks. They've not got specific yet, so obviously they've not uh, decided they're ready to go yet on that one. So, upcoming update. This is the interesting news. On Tuesday, July the 18th, so that's this coming Tuesday, at 10am Eastern, which will be the usual 3pm UK time, 76 will be offline on all platforms to apply an update. This update will be smaller than our content patches and focuses on gameplay improvements and bug fixes. Patch notes available on the day. So, yeah. As per usual, mid-season update, it's going to have some bug fixes, sort of carrying over from the last update, and um, if a couple of uh, quality of life things as well. Probably some of the smaller bits and pieces they tested in the last PTS run, I would guess, especially as they've mentioned the PTS part as well. But so some of that's going to come out, I'm guessing not the big bits, but at least some of the small bits, and uh, a few bug fixes, which are always nice, and hopefully a bit of a server back-end cleanup as well, because... You know, if you take the servers down anyway, why wouldn't you? So uh, that is likely to be the case on Tuesday. Obviously, more details will be shared in the patch notes on the day, and I will be all over that. So uh, keep an eye out here for that one, notification bell and all that, and then you know when I upload my uh, responses to the patch notes. So, new challenge event. This is the particularly interesting bit, and uh, this is the surprising bit. So, calling all Pioneer Scouts. This next challenge event is for you. So... What we have here is from July 25th, so that is a week on Tuesday, to August 8th, running for two weeks there, claim the Squirrel Scout's backpack skin for free in the Atomic Shop, and complete challenges to earn new and unique rewards. So, here we have a gander at the new skin. I quite like it. So it reminds me of the Nuka-Cola backpack that we got with the Nuka World on Tour, except it's red instead of brown, and there's no Nuka-Cola logo up here. Uh, so a bit of a colour change on it. Obviously all the badges are new as well. The crowbar, nearly forgot the name of it. I think that's a new addition as well. I like the look of this. This is quite cool. It's definitely got to use it as a spike to hold off a feral ghoul in an emergency vibe to it. Obviously that's not what it's for. It's purely cosmetic, but... Um, and the animations probably wouldn't benefit too well either, but, you know, using that as a weapon, it, it's got weapon vibes to it, especially with it being wrapped like that and having a suspiciously sharp bottom end. But, uh, yeah, definitely uh, very post-apocalyptic, which is cool. So, yeah, um, new challenges. They haven't said here whether or not you'll have to wear the backpack to complete the challenges. Pretty sure you probably will. Um, that's the way they've done it in the past. On the other hand, they have said they're doing things differently, so maybe not. I'd say keep an eye on it, if in doubt, wear the backpack. Because otherwise you might be wasting your time, you know. But uh, they are taking a slightly different approach on this, and I have theories about that. So, we're doing it a little differently than you used to this time around. Now you'll have 10 unique challenges to complete at any time during the event duration. So you've got a two-week window there, and 10 challenges to complete during those two weeks. So, the obvious question as to why they're going to do this, um, my theory is sort of twofold. Firstly, varieties of Spice of Life, that's the easy bit. The second bit is, when you look at the challenges you complete to get the full-size backpack through the Pioneer Scouts, anyway that already exist in the game those are quite involved quite um specific and slightly awkward to complete you're not knocking them out in 10 seconds for the most part and um, they require a bit more time and effort to get through 
With this being also Pioneer Scouts themed, it is possible, it seems to me, that these particular 10 unique challenges might be a little bit more fiddly to complete as well, um, in a similar vein to those. It will be consistent with the Pioneer Scouts vibe, and the fact you've got 10 of them that you can do at any rate over two weeks, it feels to me like you won't, most people anyway, won't be completing them in one play session. They will probably be doing it over the course of the two weeks because some of it might just take a little bit longer to get it done. That's my theory. Um, if playtime, uh, sort of availability of free time is a concern for you, consideration, maybe jump in as quick as you can and have a look at what's available and what the challenges are when they actually come up so that you at least know what you're kind of in for. However, no uh, necessary disaster or catastrophe on this because of the details come out in just a second. So, complete seven out of the ten challenges to earn the Squirrel Scout Backpack Flare. So that's this adorable little knitted guy here that is, yeah, pretty cute. That's quite nice, actually. I like that. The detail on that is quite impressive, especially by 76's usual standards as well, with them being as small as they are. That's, that's pretty cool. Good job done, huh? Going above and beyond and completing all 10 challenges, lets you the new Scrap Rat Backpack mod. Say that one carefully. <laughs> so this particular mod gives you a 90% weight reduction on scrap and components. So as we already have ones for food and chems, this just uh, aligns with that, but for your scrap. Um, cool. That's a decent functional reward. Obviously, you keep the backpack skin, you keep the flare, and you get that mod as well if you complete all of the challenges. However, if you don't complete all the challenges, for whatever reason that may be, despair not, because you can buy it for bullion, which is fine. Um, don't know about you guys, but I for one have run out of stuff that I actively need to spend bullion on. There's stuff I can still spend bullion on, but I don't need to. So, yeah, if I were not to complete this, I wouldn't lose any sleep over it. It is worth mentioning that it's sometime... I during a future update after the challenge ends that it will become available for bullion. Um, so in all likelihood, that's probably going to be the late August update. The September update, by the way, seems seems to be coming forward to the latter part of August. So if you're working on your scoreboard at the minute, make sure you're cracking on with that because otherwise you might run out of time as uh, it looks big air quotes and provisionally and all of that like it's going to be shorter which would make sense because um, then they can start the new thing off a little bit before Starfield drops. But we'll have to see. Obviously, if you don't complete it or don't engage with the challenge at all, you won't get the backpack skin, you won't get the uh, flare, but you will still be able to get the mod. So there we go. That is the cool and interesting thing that is coming from July 25th, so a week on Tuesday through to August 8th. So we'll have to have a look at that when we get the chance. So jumping down here, we have one last little bit of information. Well, actually, we have several, but anyway... And that is the upcoming weekend events for the next few weeks. So this weekend now we have a script surplus and double mutations. So there we go. Nice and easy. Get in there and uh, farm up that script if you would like to. Now's the opportune moment. 18th to the 25th. So that is running next week. We have mutation invasion. So that's running from uh, post update on Tuesday. Uh, so top of the hour, you'll have mutated enemies in the events. Public events. On the 20th to the 24th, so that's the weekend coming next weekend. Legendary sale, 25% off weapons and armor sold by the purveyor. I wouldn't bother if I were you. I'd um, save your script and uh, buy legendary modules, which won't be on offer, and then use the legendary crafting system if you want something specific. If you don't really care what you get, then yeah, go ahead. But yeah, uh, if you want something specific, crafting your own is the way to go, as it has been for uh, two years now, thereabouts. So, July 27th to the 31st, so last weekend of the month, Hunt for the Treasure Hunter is back. So, more miners coming back, you can get their rewards from the Pales, as well as a absolute ton of legendaries as well, and double mutations rolling as well that weekend too. Back in March, Bethesda did a really good job of making sure that all the high legendary dropping events, so Hunt for the Treasure Hunter and also the April Fool's uh, Holiday Scorch thing that was going on at the time, they set it up so that both of those were sort of happened one week and then the next week and then the week after that they did script surplus so that all the tons of legendaries you inevitably acquired by doing those events could be gotten rid of more easily and didn't end up clogging up your stash box and everything or just being wasted so that was good uh, they have not done that this time around unfortunately it, they've got it the wrong way around which is what they were doing before script surplus comes before you get the legendaries not ideal um little unfortunate not terribly surprising hopefully but those are all uh, try and get those the other way around going forward again in future but uh, we shall see 
But there we go. That's basically everything that is happening in the next few weeks, which is cool. So, uh, yeah, looking forward to trying out this new challenge event. It'll be fun. Add a little bit of variety in there. I have got a hunch that, uh, as I say, there'll be a little bit more nuance and the individual challenges for this new event will be a bit challenging to do. It'll take a bit longer to do, which might explain the change in the way it's set up. Or it could just be a case that they want to try something different. Um, we'll see. I guess it depends on how it goes as to whether or not they uh, do it again. But yeah, very cool. Nice to have this uh, fun little event to add a little bit of variety in for August. Obviously, Meet Week coming up at the end of uh, August into early September. And Starfield, well, 1st of September for those of us who've got the uh, sort of deluxe editions and upwards. And the base game obviously drops on the 6th. So, got to be all over that. Lots happening in the next few months. So, yeah, do keep an eye out for that. But uh, in the meantime, I'm going to be uh, wrapping this one up, I guess. So thank you all for watching. Hope you found it useful and informative. As always, live streams continuing for 76. We're playing Metro Exodus tonight as well. And that one's ongoing. i a lot of fun with that. Do keep an eye out for Starfield videos as well as ongoing Fallout content as well. Got a build coming for the weekend and uh, covering all the, the latest and greatest of Fallout news as well. So... Thank you very much for watching. Do hope you found it useful and informative. You know where all the likes, subs, social media links, merch store, all that good stuff are down below, and channel memberships as well. If you'd like to support the channel in that way, I really appreciate it. Do please check all that out. And for now, thank you very much for watching. I look forward to speaking to you all very, very soon.